Hello friends, what's up? Today's video, I'm going to be, actually I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do, like it's gonna be a chit chat, get ready with me life updates, but I don't know if I'm, if I'm gonna try to like, to try new makeup or if I'm just gonna do my makeup on camera. I have no idea what I'm doing, so we'll just go with it. But I have so many things, like I have a list of things that I've been writing down this week to update you guys on, cause why not? Luckily, I'm not as sick as I was before. Still sick in the sense of like, my nose is still clogged, I still wanna cough and stuff like that, but I'm not like, Fever sick, you know? If you guys hear someone coughing, Uzair is here and he is ruining my life like always. But I guess younger brothers are meant to ruin your life, so. And you guys know I rarely switch up my primer, but I'm going to switch up my primer this time because I feel like you guys are a little bored of just me using the same stuff constantly. So we're gonna start off with the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. But yeah, so I have a list of things. I don't think I finished the entire list, but I do have a list of things here. So we're gonna just start off with the first thing on the list, which is a new fat loss challenge. I've been getting a lot of questions on when that will be announced. I am gonna have a new one, and that's gonna be announced on Monday, just, just after this week, because this week my best friend's getting married, so it's like super hectic. As soon as that's finished, the last day is on Saturday, I will be announcing a new fat loss challenge. If you guys are new to my channel, I do fat loss challenges. They're $15 for 30 days, and they're all done at home, so it's like super easy for everybody that doesn't like to join a gym and stuff, but that will be coming. So for foundation, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way, and I'm in the color Natural beige and then I'm gonna use my Tarte quickie sponge if I haven't told you guys this already I like this just as much as I like the beauty blender if not a little more like this is a lot more soft segueing off the fat loss challenge I'm going to tell you guys about my weight loss because a lot of you guys have number one been noticing and number two also been just asking in general because I do update you guys more on Instagram and snapchat than I do here which I'm stupid for but if you guys don't know I've lost about I've lost about almost 12 uh, pounds at this point at the end of June I was 137 and I have been keeping track of my weight so I'll put that the notes thing right here so you guys can see each date what weight I was so I started off at 137 and now I'm sitting at about 126 125 so I've lost a solid 12 pounds or so in the last two months Ozara and I have been going super hard at the gym which I wanted to just update you guys because if you want to see like a video on how I lost so far 12 pounds, but I knew I'd need to lose another eight. I need to be 120 for what I'm for what my goal is, which I will get into. Yeah, I'm gonna lose another eight. So that'll be like a total of 20 pounds by the time I'm done losing everything. So if you guys wanna know like how I did that or whatever, we can sit down and film a video, but you guys have to obviously just let me know down below if you want that. Funny because I remember I posted a vlog, I wanna say maybe two months ago, and I was telling you guys that I have to lose 10 pounds. So I did do that. I did a little bit more than 10 pounds, and then now I'm gonna go for the full 20 pounds. So I'm gonna use the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. It looks like this. It's a super thick concealer. I don't remember if I like it or not, but I am gonna try it. I'm gonna put a little bit here. It's more on the peachy side, I wanna say, but I'll mix it with my other concealer. I'm gonna mix it with my Tarte Shape Tape. But yeah, so if you follow me on Instagram and if you guys have been seeing the new fitness kind of posts I've been posting, I think it's clear to everybody that I stopped powerlifting. I haven't been powerlifting for the last almost year now. It's been, no, actually not years. It's been about eight months or so. I haven't been powerlifting. I just, I don't know, I kind of lost interest in it. It was cool and stuff. I was like, okay, I can, I deadlift 300 pounds, but then like, then what? You know, like, I don't know. I just, I did it. I know I can do it. I think it was great. I got strong AF and then I just got over it. And it just didn't seem, after I fractured my rib, I just, I don't know. I wasn't in it. Nothing felt the same anymore. Lifting was not as fun anymore because I just couldn't lift as heavy as I did. So then I transitioned over to boxing, which if you guys don't know, and I don't think you guys, a lot of you will know this, but Osama and Uzair used to box when they were younger. Like I swear they boxed for like 10 years or something. They're really good. They've also had a couple of fights. And then I spent specifically remember I would ask my dad my dad let me do anything honestly you guys my dad if I wanted to do something or if my brothers were doing something he would come to me and be like do you want to do what they're doing and if you do then let's you know do it but boxing was the one thing that he did not let me do because he didn't want me to have a broken nose and stuff which I guess was good because I think both Osama and Uzair's nose is are kind of like screwed up from it I think he saw that I'm 
pretty strong and I can handle my own so like I'm transitioning into it so if you see if you follow me on Instagram and stuff you'll see like I posted a few times that I'm like nine more pounds to go until showtime and everyone's like wait what when what is showtime like what are you saying I'm so confused did you mention it somewhere and we lost it or something like that and no I actually haven't mentioned showtime anywhere I just like have been saying it because I eventually do or possibly am training for a fight but i don't want to like just put it out there because number one i feel like i don't know i believe in nazar and shit so like i don't want to do it i don't want to post it out there and like tell everybody definitely this is what i'm doing and number two what if like i don't want to go through with it and then but it's already out there on the internet and then all you guys are gonna be like wait Baleba, like why aren't you like doing the fight you told me you were gonna do it and now you're not doing it and then i'll be like instead of wanting to do it for myself i maybe just do it for like youtube or something you know okay i'm gonna use my milk bronzer i am possibly maybe training for it but like i don't want to say until it happens and when it does happen if it does happen i will film it and i will post it whether i win or lose which i'm gonna win because i train to win but whether i win or lose i will post it on here so you guys will know but in the meantime i'm not gonna like i just haven't set i don't want anything set in stone especially on the internet because once you put something on the internet it's out there and then what if i change my mind you know so this is the first time i'm using this bronzer it's nice it's not too dark like it looks super dark in here but when it goes on it's actually not bad at all because the thing is a lot of you guys are telling me this and i totally agree and that's that you guys are telling me like why are you losing all this weight like you don't need to lose all this weight which is true i definitely don't need to be 120 pounds and to be honest if we are being completely honest here I don't like to be 120 pounds. I've been there before. I've been, I think my lowest I've been while working out and stuff is like 117. And that's when I had like, I was ripped. I was like, I had abs and shit. And I, but I just wasn't happy because I don't know. I don't, that's like a really light weight for me. The thing is, if I want to go through with a fight, it just makes more sense for me to be lighter. I am going to go lighter just to start off with. And then I might you know gain I might go back up it just depends but I need to be 120 and then I will figure it out from 120 how I feel how I perform and then decide from there I'm not a fan of this concealer I'm so sad that I even used it it says creaseless but it's creasing on me I'm gonna use this milk makeup lip and cheek thing oh it's not bad it's like very subtle and then I'll just blend it out with my so I updated you guys on the challenge I updated you on my weight loss I told you guys about my possible boxing fight and then you know what's so funny on top of that I just want to you know since I'm on this topic and now that I'm opening up about it I feel like a lot of people view me as like a cute little girl and like don't get hurt but like at the same time which Uzair and I have had this conversation where he's like I think people understand your vibe like I feel like you guys kind of understand me especially if you watch my videos consistently and you you can maybe feel my vibe but like I'm not like a little beach at all there's like no there's I'm, there's no bone in my body that is like a little pushover or like when it comes to like fights or like all that kind of stuff mm -mm, i'm not so i know that a lot of people might be concerned and might be like why are you doing this or like you're gonna get hurt but trust me you guys it won't be my first fight you know let's just say that so and also i'm not the kind of person like i'm competitive but i'm not super competitive where like this is gonna overtake my life and if i lose i'm gonna be super depressed I'm just like excited. I want to do this. This is something fun. I'm not trying to kill anybody. I'm just trying to have some fun. And this is something I've wanted to do since I was literally 15 years old because of Osama was there. So moving on next, this part is something that I think you guys will be excited for. And if you haven't noticed, which I haven't told YouTube yet, but I did mention it one time on Snapchat and one time on my live Instagram um, stories. And that is I created a second channel, okay? I created a second channel and that's because I'm as I always go through comments of you guys telling me what you want to see literally 50% of them are always that you want to see vlogs or that you want to see more with my family and the way that I'm gonna like kind of dive into my channel as a business and I will explain to you guys why I created this channel so when obviously this channel you guys have to understand it's uh, like it's my work it's so it's business and that's 
it's worked because of you guys so i appreciate you guys a hundred percent and i want to give you guys what you want to see and that's more lifestyle stuff like you guys want to be more involved in my life and i completely understand that because i watch youtubers that i really like and i want to see more about their life because i just enjoy watching them so much and i relate to them the issue is that i have also at the same time a lot of brands that watch my channel so for example hair and makeup would be my main brands that watch the channel so let's say i just saturated my channel with just vlogs i wouldn't be able to work like I do now do you get what I mean so I have to have a balance like I have to ba have a balance of lifestyle vlogs that you guys want to see and challenges that you want to see with my family and then I also need to make sure I appeal to brands so I have to do both you know and that's why initially I created my live as edit account on Instagram which if you don't follow me it's like my second account where I post all my unedited photos i just post so much more on that it's so much more fun because i don't have to worry about who's watching i can post whatever i want it's not a business account it's my fun account like i have so much fun posting on there so i'm gonna go in with my foolproof brow powder looks like this and i'm just gonna do my eyebrows while i'm talking to you guys i'm now gonna go in with my marc jacobs coconut bronzer and just bronze my face so i created the second channel i'll have the link as the first thing in the description box for some reason on youtube if you just search live Z, that's the account that name of the other account still this account comes up so for now i believe until i get like a, a significant amount of followers you won't be able to find it if you just search it or until like i post a lot of videos i believe so so the link will be down below it'll mean a lot to me if you guys do subscribe and like subscribe if you're somebody that would love to see or loves to watch my vlogs and stuff and loves to see more family content and just more of me in my life because that's what I'll be posting on there and also I haven't started yet because it's a very busy week for me but I'm gonna be posting daily on there so that means daily vlogs me just upload like being like hey you guys what's up I just woke up like literally daily vlogs you guys just follow me around seeing what I'm doing every single day in my life and then if I don't post like a vlog on a certain day, it'll be like a challenge video with my mom, with Ozer, with my dad, with Sana, with Osama, with Cheddar. So it'll just be videos every day that you guys want to see. And that'll be so much more fun. And that way I can keep a balance with this account. But I can also give you guys all the content that you want on that account. And that account, I'm not really gonna get paid for you guys I'm gonna be honest with you I get money from this account and I do get money from my obviously my Instagram which is my bod one Z but my Instagram Liba Z and this new YouTube account like I'm not gonna be making paper from that at all it's just it's too less of an account compared to my other accounts for me to even try to monetize it and then once I feel like it turns into work it's not gonna be fun anymore for me so I want to keep it fun just without money i only have one video on there right now so you guys can watch that and then i promise uh starting monday i will be posting daily vlogs and challenges there it's just wedding week here so it's hard for me to actually film a lot of stuff hence why i'm you're only gonna see two videos this week i'm sorry i know i'm talking a lot and everybody i get at least like five or six comments in each vid video saying like you dumb b you talk so much but I feel like a lot of you guys like when I talk a lot so for blush I'm going in with the L'Oreal Paradise this is like a scented blush and this is in the color fantastical Ooh, you guys are gonna be excited for this one so okay as I just mentioned it's wedding week here and it's not my wedding it's not anyone in my family but it is my best friend's wedding here you guys haven't seen her on my channel she doesn't like make appearances and shit but I've known her since we were four years old so that's 22 years of friendship so she's getting married and yesterday was her dolky so if you guys follow me on instagram you would have seen this picture right here that i posted i wore like an afghani dress um which i got from pakistan but i just didn't realize it was an afghan dress until like you know i put it on and stuff and if you guys remember exactly last year during this week was my older brother's wedding and i posted a dance so guess what i'm dancing on her wedding so that means you guys get to see another dance Woo! not like i'm the best dancer in the world but i think you guys just enjoyed watching it so i'm gonna dance on the reception which is gonna be on saturday so by the time i edit and upload that video i think the dance will go up on sunday honestly i'm not gonna lie that we didn't practice as much as we did last year last year we already had all the songs memorized by this time but this year like right now i still have to memorize 
one whole song like I don't know one whole song so I'm a little nervous we're gonna use this palette from Colourpop and it has a lot of pretty colors in it but I'm not gonna do anything cray cray I'm just gonna keep it neutral let's go in with orange it'll be fun I guess I love watching wedding dances honestly sometimes when I'm bored I just go on YouTube and I google Bollywood or Pakistani or Indian wedding dances this shimmery shadow right here it's like a brown it's like a rose goldy color I'm gonna put this on my lid it's like a foiled shadow it's actually really pretty. So tomorrow is the Mendy, and I'm gonna be wearing, if you guys remember my last video where I was getting ready for the Desi, that's exactly when I'm gonna be doing my makeup and hair, and that's the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow. So that's that. My mom is actually getting, my mom and Senna are both actually getting their hair and makeup done. And I was initially, like, I was thinking about it, but then I was just like, nah. Like, I honestly just like doing my own makeup. The L'Oreal, the new Lash Paradise, they came out with an eyeliner, and I'm not usually a felt tip kind of person. I like a brush tip, but we will try this because I can't find my eyeliner. Sorry guys, I have to go make macho swirls there. I hate this eyeliner. It's already dry. The felt tip sucks. I just can't even get like the wing to be proper. I've been loving you guys, the Batty B lashes. Jenny69 on Instagram, she owns it I believe, and her lash, like the lashes are lit. They're so nice. Also update on my place, you guys. So I finally got a couch, which is good. It got delivered a few days ago. So I already have a bed set and stuff, like my place is two bedrooms, so I already have that. It's just like the living room that's super empty. So I finally got a couch, which I'll show you guys maybe in, in my vlog or something. It came in a few days ago. I still need to have, I still need to get like a TV, a rug, and like a center table. But other than that, I'm gonna keep my place fairly simple because I don't want it to look too crowded. Okay, so I just quickly straightened my hair off camera and now we're gonna get into the lips and I think we're about almost done. Can we talk about something gross? Why, okay, if you guys ever wear earrings, why does it start smelling all funky? You guys ever smell your hand after touching your earrings or like your, on your ear or whatever? And then it just smells like rotten cheese. I haven't worn hoops in forever. But these are Zaynas and I stole them. Well, I didn't steal them. She left them here, so now they're mine. So for lips, here's what we're gonna do. This is something I just recently started started doing. I'm gonna take the pencil from, called Mahogany and I'm gonna line my lips with this. Doesn't have to be neat, could be messy. And then I go in with my finger and I just kinda try to blend it out as much as I can. I'm gonna take this lipstick from MAC and it says, this is a new lipstick. It's called Plenty of Pout Plumping Lipstick. So I have no idea, but it looks like this. It's like a nude, so I'm gonna just use this. Mm, cute, I like it. All right guys, that's it for the video. I just wanted to give you a quick few life updates so i hope you guys are all caught up please make sure to subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up but then also make but then also make sure to subscribe to my second channel so i can start putting proper videos and stuff on that channel as well thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time bye